Hello boys and girls, happy Friday and welcome back to another episode of Shooting Star TV. Today we have a little new toy from Freefall Data Systems, the Sono LT 4V, the fourth generation of the uh, spoken uh, or yeah you can say spoken altimeters that actually talk to you in Freefall. So let's get right to it. So we have the new Sono Alti 4V available. Uh, we just got it, it was just released yesterday and we have them already. Uh, it's because we're super awesome, right? So new and improved speakers, new and improved construction. Uh, it was already rugged and now it is basically bomb proof. Um, new speaker uh, configuration and upgraded speakers. So you're gonna get a clear, a really clear voice inside your helmet. Uh, and also the great uh, thing about this that you can configure the volume and use either uh, the speech um, option or you can use uh, sirens and uh, beeps and tones to give you your uh, altitude reading. So the configuration is pretty much the same. You have to go through uh, Freefall Data Systems web app for the V4 um, and then, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute uh, on how to configure it and what you have to do. You configure everything online through their web app, right? You configure your presets, and then if you need to change those in the field, you just scroll through them with that little button here, that one that has the gears. So it's pretty simple to use. Um, it is a really great tool compared to the 3V. You can see the new version has a USB-C port. And the previous one, the, the three has that micro USB charging port and interface. So that is really good. Uh, pretty much everything nowadays is USB-C uh, until they come up with something different, right? So what's new on the 4V? You can see here, uh, the first thing you notice once you pull out of the box is that in the previous version, you have the speakers right in the center of the unit. On the fourth generation, the speaker is offset to a side. Um, if you have the unit like that, and is, let's say you're putting it right there on your inside your helmet, you want the speaker to be right over your ear. In some helmets, uh, the um, audible port sits below and a bit further down, like most cookie helmets. Uh, the G3, I know it does because I have a G3 and I had it, mine sits like right here. So it doesn't press against your ears, which is really comfortable. But in some cases you can't hear it, although, with the volume settings on either one of these, you can make it as loud as you want because um, in different positions and different types of free fall, uh, the wind noise is gonna be totally different. So you might have to uh, crank up the volume a little bit once you set it up. Remember, you have to set up your unit through the web app. So you can't do the setup uh, uh, in the field because you only have two buttons. And the one to change the settings is the one with the little gears right there. So. Um, I'll show you uh, later how to configure it, where you can find all that uh, in the uh, Freefall Data Systems website. But I have a video that I made about a year ago for how to configure the uh, 3V. It's the same thing, and I'll leave a link up here so you can check it out. It's, um, it's basically the same type of configuration. You just look for the one uh, that says Sono Alti 4V. So you have to go into the product category so you can get to the drop down, drop down to the description and you can find the link over there. All the links for that I'll leave down below where you can find it and configure that. So let's unbox one so you can see all the things that comes with once you get it out of the box. All right, Freefall Data Systems Sono Alti 4V out of the box. You got your, you know, your cute little Freefall Data System box, which are really good. And there it is, Sono Alti 4V. Aluminium construction, really, really rugged, great um, milled aluminium case with your two buttons, your uh, preset setting buttons and your uh, connecting port button and upgraded speaker. USB-C charging port, which is super convenient. About the same size as the previous unit, the Sono Alti 3V 
and I'll put them side by side here so you can see. There they are. Probably the 3D is a little bit bigger, a little bit taller there, thicker, but they will both fit in any of the helmets currently in the market today. So, um, really compact, rugged, and great construction, super light, great positioning of the speaker compared to the uh, 3V, which is in the center of the unit. This one is uh, offset to a side to align better with your ear. So these are available and ready to ship. What's in the box? Well, you get all your free folio systems goodies and warnings and settings and configuration and where to go for the um, the uh, web app. You get your free fall data system sticker and you your USB-C um, charging cable. That's everything that comes in the box with the unit. That's how you change the settings uh, or the presets that you already configured uh, through the web app on the unit. You just press and hold that button. Standard default setting. Press and hold again. Low speed default setting. Press and hold User again. preset one. And you can scroll through them. User preset two. Until you get to the one that you prefer using. So if you're changing settings, if you're let's say an AFF instructor and a tandem instructor and you're changing settings on your Audible, this is great for you. Another reason to get a free full data systems unit is that they are made here in the United States of America. You are supporting uh, local businesses and making it great again. So one of the other things you might've noticed is that the new version does not have that audio jack like the previous uh, V3 has. Um, which is, I think, perfect because I don't think anybody uh, used that. It's just a pain just to put headphones on your uh, uh, while having a helmet on. So I guess that's a good thing that the new one doesn't have that audio jack, that 2.5 millimeter audio jack next to the uh, USB port. So that's a good improvement. Okay, so let's say um, you get your unit and you get it out of the box and you're ready to configure your new Sono Alti 4V. So you go to Freefall Data Systems and uh, in this case, once you go into Freefall Data Systems, the first thing that would appear would be the newest product, so the Sono Alti 4V. And you can see the video here uh, and description and some of the uh, um, other products that they have. So you go into products, go to Sono Alti 4B, and then you scroll down to all the way to the technical specs. Here you will we'll find the uh, tab or the category called Web USB App. Keep in mind, you have to connect the unit first and it will appear up here where you have your, if it's a PC, you'll find um, here that is connected as a uh, USB external drive or something like that. So you connect the unit first and then you click on the web USB app and this appears. If uh, no device found, I have not connected anything yet, but if I connect it right now, I'll just uh, click connect here. And then you set it up as you would any other Freefall Data Systems Audible Altimeter, like the 3V or the 2V. So that's pretty much it. You can set it up as uh, you have their user preset 1, preset 2, preset 3. You have your three presets, and then in within each brief preset, you have the Freefall settings and canopy settings. So there's a lot that you can configure for each one. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Once you're done, just click disconnect and this little button here and unplug your device and you're good to go. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.